All right, uh, hey guys, what's going on? Uh, this is gonna be uh, episode one of the Elden Ring Let's Play. Uh, I'm gonna be going into this almost completely blind. Uh, an Elden Ring, that is, at least. We I have played a, a few Souls oh, games in the yes. past, mainly Dark Souls 3. Uh, I know this is gonna be a little bit different from that game, but it's been a while and feeling like I want to play some more Souls-like games, or a Souls game, considering this is from, from, anyways, uh, just talking to this guy right now, so trying to figure out what's going on, uh, it seems like he's gonna insult me a little bit, so, uh, was thinking about killing him, probably should have killed him, just killed him right there, but, uh, just wanted to see what he, what he had to say, anyway, so, we're walking around, trying to, you know, get our bearing in the world, it's a very beautiful world, by the way. They designed it greatly. Uh, looking up at that big tree, you can see all the detail that they put into it. Uh, so that's always nice to be playing a game that looks so good. Again, you know, just walking around, trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, reading about the idols and the effigy or whatever. See, see what I can do here, just running around. Uh, Pretty sure, yeah. I'm gonna walk up over here to this guy and see what he's see what he's all about. Not knowing what's gonna happen, uh, you know, kind of concerned to walk up on him because he looks so big and uh, menacing. Uh, <clears throat> you know, walk up, walk onto him. Uh, you know, walk up, friendly little poke here, hit the horse, and he's still just one. I think it does one hit, yep, one hit kills me. <laughs> so, from there, you know, what, this is kind of what I was expecting, I guess you could say. Uh, so I was taking, you know, have to take the, the free ride back to the, to the little circle thing. I forgot exactly what it's called in this game. You know, the sword, uh, touch, grace is what it's called. Yeah, touch grace. So, uh, running back out, see, I uh, don't really want to mess with him this time. Uh, gonna run past him, I think. Just kind of staring at him like, whoa. Clearly, I don't think you're supposed to fight someone like that this early in the game, considering you just left the tutorial right there. Uh, anyways, yeah, so this is gonna be the first video on my YouTube channel that I just started. Uh, been wanting to get into video making for a long time now. Uh, seems like fun, you know, I play a lot of video games, uh, different games, but I thought it'd be good to, you know, start with something that's gonna be a challenge, uh, something that I don't really know very much about. Um, so we're gonna see what, see what that is. Oh yeah, collect the runes, I believe they're called runes, yeah. And just you know, sneak away from that guy, get away from him. But, uh, yeah, so, like I said, uh, this will be the first game in the series that I try to complete on the YouTube channel. Uh, gonna try to be consistent with the uploads, uh, see how far along I can make it. You just see where the channel goes from here. I'll be playing other games. I play tons of other games, you know, with friends, multiplayer games like Fortnite, League of Legends, uh, Call of Duty, I'm trying to think, and really open-minded towards like any type of game, so it'd be nice to know what you guys would want to see, if I should focus more on the single player games, or do some multiplayer stuff, mix that in around, and uh, you know, just see where we can go with this YouTube channel, it's something that I've wanted to do for a very long time. I have done it in the past where I recorded some games for like an old MMO. Uh, RuneScape used to play that a lot. Made some videos back in the day. Had a little bit of success with that. You know, nothing crazy. Just a few subscribers, you know, a couple thousand views on videos. But uh, th I think this time I'm going to actually, you know, give it my best effort and see how far I can make it along. Uh, so just checking out this guy's shop, I'm not really sure what he was doing, wanted to learn about him because he's an interesting looking guy, kind of looks like Santa Claus a little bit, but you know, he's just telling me about himself and about the, the Elden Ring, and that, I don't know very much lore about this game, it's something I'm really looking forward to finding out about because the lore in the other Souls games are amazing. 
So this one seemed pretty cool from the cutscene in the beginning when you first start. I tried to get that in here, but for some reason my recorder uh, corrupted the file or something. It didn't save onto my hard drive. I don't know, something really weird. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna probably finish finish up talking to this guy. See what he, he wants me to survive so I could be his customer, which is fitting for a merchant, I guess. So I was just kind of wondering what uh, he was doing with that. <laughs> uh, gonna come over here, you know, just like a little bit more of the early tutorial stuff. It's like showing me stuff to do, like all these different items, the blacksmith and will be upgrading weapons there in the future, I'm sure. Uh, the other thing is about the way I am recording this video is right now I don't have a great mic for my PC, so... I'm watching over the, the the video and then recording the voice, so it so it'd be at least a little bit decent quality mic. I didn't want to upload the first video and it'd be terrible, but I'm looking to get a better mic in the future so I don't have to do that and I could just, you know, talk about what's going on as I play the game. So that for sure I'm gonna change. Uh, as far as right now though, I'm not sure when I'll be able to get the mic, so this is gonna have to do for now the way I'm recording this audio. I mean, you know, put it together in the editing stuff. But, you know, I'm just trying to see on the map, once again, like, you know, what do I do? Where do I go? You know, normally in the Souls games, like Dark Souls 3, like, you had no idea where you're supposed to go. It kind of just drops you in, you know, in a village at the beginning and a little castle place, and you just have to figure it out on your own. But it seems so far from what I've played on this game, like, they kind of are, like, giving you a little, little like, route to follow. Like, you know, come here up on these... These guys give me a really hard time. I haven't played Souls games in a while, so I'm really pretty terrible at the combat. I gotta get used to playing like that again. You know, being able to parry the stuff and uh, get actual combos out of my hits and get used to the dodge mechanics and everything. But, uh, yeah, like I was saying, uh, it, it seems like they, they show, show you like a bit where to go. So I ran up on these guys and I tried to take them out. I'm pretty sure these guys are gonna kill me here pretty soon. Being coming up over here, yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> if I don't survive these, or no, it's a little bit further actually. These guys are just the ones wandering around. There's like a little little town area, or like a I'd better describe it like an outpost maybe. But we'll see here in a second. Um, trying to like you know, pick up the materials. Like saw that like from the merchant earlier. He told me about getting a pack or something to craft stuff. Something I'll have to look into so I could see more. Because it seems like there's a lot that, uh, a lot that's explained, but at the same time, a lot that's not explained. And it's something that's gonna take a little time to learn. Read like uh, some in-depth guides or something about what's going on. Uh, kill that guy pretty easily, but he almost killed me. As you see, I tried to parry an attack and I was horrible. Got the timing completely wrong. But I'm noticing, like, right now, like, oh, yeah, you're supposed to follow along this area. See what's, see where it takes us. Uh, just running through the forest. Uh, I'm picking up what, root resin. Like, I, I know uh, you're not, you shouldn't probably pick up every little type thing you see, but I'm like, I'm like a squirrel with that. I see something shiny, and I just go straight for it. <laughs> so I'm going to have fun doing that in this game. And collecting up all these materials and stuff to craft, and so that guy wasn't paying attention, so I was just able to kill him pretty easily, I guess. And uh, coming over here, seeing these rune fragments, you know, don't really know what those are. Just collecting them, like I said, because they're shiny. It's gonna be something that I either learn from just playing or something that I'm gonna have to look up because you know these games do have a pretty steep learning curve. Uh, kind of hard to get get going especially in a completely new game where it's especially where you, it's been a long time since you played a game like it but yeah this thing's pretty cool this little rolling guy is like a rolling pole he's going around i was wondering what he does and i'm pretty sure he dropped something for the flask so i uh, picked it up you know killed him make sure to grab it but we'll see right now yeah yeah it's for the it, uh, what do they do? Crimson's early in teardrops. Okay. You deplete the flask, so it refills it, I guess. But, yeah, you know, just doing a little bit of exploring early, exploring early on and seeing what's going on. That's when I noticed this little outpost area. 
and I'm gonna run straight forward, of course. I see something shining over there. <clears throat> something else that's really cool about this game, too, is like the amount of detail they put in and just the, you know, the animals and stuff that are just roaming around makes it feel really alive, like a very alive game world. And, you know, I come in here like, hey, introducing myself to the whole town and boom, boom. Fail a fairy, fail dodge. Don't even attempt to block it, I'm sure. You just start smacking them. And then I realize, oh no, the wolf's gonna attack me. So I put a, sadly have to kill the dog and try to parry that guy. Nope. Missed the parry, just decided to roll away and you know, get some sheep, uh, health and actually land a parry, which is actually something I've been trying to do for the past little bit in the combat with these guys. And I finally got them down. We kill the other dog, sadly. I don't like killing dogs in games. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, going further into the town, you know, I see a bunch of these more knights, and I'm almost certain this guy kills me. If not, him, one of his buddies is gonna run up and kill me. I just wasn't really aware of the, how many of these guys are actually over here. And, uh,. See if I can hit. Nope, don't run the very trying to let the very block with the shield actually was pretty good. And this guy, I think this guy killed me up with his stabbing. Holy, holy cow. Yep. Let's see if I can stop it. Nope, not a very nice. And is he gonna get me? No, no, no. Yep, I think he does get me. And uh, so I <laughs> try to learn my lesson that you guys see. You know, they're nothing, nothing to just scoff at, like they're you know, not going to be a challenge at all. And, and uh, you know, I see this thing a little bit confused by it, you know, like, what do I, what's the difference that I read, actually, it, apparently it's not like the other Souls games where you need the bonfire to, you know, revive, you die, you go back to the bonfire. But there's like these little checkpoint areas, I guess, throughout the map where if you're close to one of these things, you could respawn at it. So that's pretty cool that they did that. It makes things a little bit easier. But come back and realize, wait a second, you guys are already spawned. And now I'm probably gonna have to try to fight them again. And fail miserably to you know break the shield stance, and we finally get through with them, and kill them, take them out. <coughs> I saw a little bit of the cool helmet there. Uh, I don't think I equip it. Uh, I think towards the end of the video, I try to go see what that's about. But, yeah, just trying to sneak around. I realized how many people were there from last time. Kind of learned my lesson, I guess you could say. <laughs> and uh, come over here to try to pick up my runes. And I think I end up losing them. But in the long run, like, little spoilers for what's to come. But this guy comes up and I, I try to line up the pair again. But again, the timing's wrong. I just got to get used to playing these type of games again. I did complete all of Dark Souls 3 and the DLC and stuff, and that was a challenge, but it was fun, so kind of excited to try this one out, too. And I'm sure I'll, you know, pick things back up and get get used to playing with this type of combat again, you know, it's been a while. I've been playing, like, these mindless games where you just, you know, hack and slash your way through, like, it's okay to do that in these other games, but not really in Dark Souls games, you know, Souls games in general. You know, this weird combat, you know, I guess, like, semi-realistic kind of combat that they try to emulate, but it's just something I'll get used to eventually, and I keep repeating myself. It's gonna take a while to get used to commentating, too, actually, and I might as well say it. But, yeah, just gonna come over here, see what's what else is in the town. I'm gonna run up on this doggo, have to kill him, probably, sadly, yep, just slice him up like it's nothing. Poor dog. <laughs> And you can try to get my bearings, you know, what's going on. Like, surely there's a grace point or something over here. You know, is it, uh, try to just dive straight at him with a knife and like, completely miss a sword. Yep, I think that you're to kill him. Just realizing how many of these people are around with these knights. Very deadly. So when they're spawning in, same place, and I realize what that does come back and i think this is what i was talking about earlier where i said i lose the runes uh maybe i grab them uh maybe i don't i'm not i'm not too sure we'll see uh but yeah like i was saying earlier these like the random animals everywhere and stuff it makes the game feel really alive it's really awesome that they did stuff like that and back to the same guy from the beginning almost got to carry off um, no 
Yeah, I think I got him this time. Got him pretty easily. Maybe. Alright, nope, you had to hit that. I got that last hit on there. Just to show me. You know, he's a big, strong Souls NPC character. <laughs> uh, but, I'm trying to remember exactly what I do here. I'm coming back in the town. I think I'm trying to sneak around to get, uh, to get, uh, I'm sorry, I'm completely blanking here to get my souls back, is what I'm trying to say, runes, whatever they want to call them, I'm going to keep calling them souls, because that's what I'm going to do. Got the parry off of this card, you know, and the critical hit off on them, I forget exactly what that's called, the power hit or critical hit or something. Come over here, you know, just picking up random stuff, random stuff that spawns around, like I said, I'm gonna see something shiny and just grab it. It's what I do. It's like a, like I said, I'm like a squirrel with that sort of thing. And then I realized this wagon thing looks pretty interesting. So I try to walk up to it and, you know, see if there's like an NPC, like a merchant or something there. But no, it's just more, more of these knights that are trying to just kill me. They come out pretty easily for once. And then, you know, I'm just looking around, trying to get my bearings because. I know that there's a ton of people over here. They just killed me earlier. But they're like hidden and like hiding in these bushes or something. I'm not sure exactly where they're at. So I just like do a little bit walking around trying to just, you know, pick them off one by one trying to see, trying to see what exactly there is to do over here. Cause it's, I know I heard some, there was a note on the floor earlier that said something about uh, there being like a cave underneath the ground with treasure in it. Well, that's kind of what I was like looking around for, trying to find this little treasure area, and I don't, I don't think I find it right now. I think that's going to be in the next episode where I find what what that little nut was about. <clears throat> but you know, just trying to get trying to get used to the combat is the main thing in this episode. Trying to get back into doing it. Maybe the next episode will be a little bit simpler for me, uh, a little bit easier to, you know, I'll, I'll have played more and uh, get used to getting the parries off and blocking and the timings for dodging and the timings for when you're supposed to hit and all that sort of stuff uh, try to get used to it I uh, keep repeating myself about that but it's something that really needs to be worked on in order to even progress at all in these Souls games so that's going to be fun a little challenge it's something, something different to do like I said I haven't been playing these this type of game in a really long time. That's when I switched my weapon, I saw that. I didn't notice at first I had another weapon, but then I saw this one has a lot more reach to it and that really cool power attack. I put him on the ground and I was able to stab him. I was trying to do it again to that guy, but no. I think that this is a dead guy right here and I don't end up picking up the runes. I get a little bit more overwhelmed by these guys. I'm just panicking, trying to, you know, hit back and, you know, dodge a little bit. Try to get some damage off, but it's just too much for me right now. Uh, so I just, yeah, I think I just decided to run away. Run away and try to try to come back, and then I realized, nope, I don't even have any flasks left. So he's gonna kill me, and then I lose all the wounds. <clears throat> or does he? No, maybe he doesn't kill me. Maybe I run for the rings and get on. Guess we'll have to see. Looks like I'm trying to run to the rooms to go get them because I know if I die, if I die without it, then I'm gonna lose all this, those rooms that I had from killing them in the past and kind of delay my little level up there. So I'm trying to just go straight for them. But I think I realize they're right here. But I can't find them. Do I find them? But I think it's I end up dying here sadly. So I think it does. And I, what do I do? Oh, no, that's right. There was a little marker over here. I was going to go for that. I forgot about this. There's a little grace area over here. <coughs> to where I try to save it so I could, you know, get back and go pick up the rooms. But I don't know. for some reason, I don't know why my controller is not being recognized. My controller has a whole other issue in itself. But then, yep, that's what it was. Now I remember. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm kind of just like, well, come on, what the hell? I just lost whatever progress I had. <laughs> and uh, I know it's not too big of a deal, but it's just something that bothers me is losing that little little, little bit of uh, XP to level up. I think I try to get a level up here. I mean, I go and talk to this this lady, comes when I, 
when I go back to the bonfire. You know, trying to figure out the controls a little bit. You know, I'm trying to trying to see what's going on, but I can't because, I, like I was saying, it's it's not registering the controller and it's saying I'm still using a keyboard, but I'm using a controller. So that's a little issue, I guess I have. If anybody uh, knows what's going on with that, it'd be nice to you know just let me know. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's getting close to that. Close to the ending of the video here. I think I'd go back and then try to get some kills on these guys, but it's not really... Oh no, I just wanted to practice a little bit more, yeah. There's a few minutes left. So I wanted to practice and just get a little bit more combat in and try to get used to the timings on the dodges and hitting. And a little bit angry that I died and lost the runes. I kind of wanted to recuperate because I know when I talk, when I go back over there, it that lady comes and she tries to it's a, it's like the, the fire keeper from dark souls or anybody it, well, i'm sure you guys know where she lets you level up and based on the runes that you collect and stuff like that and i wanted to try to just get a few more before i had to switch the game to off absolutely horrendous combat by me by the way look at this there's no idea what i'm doing i just happened to get lucky and stab them with a quick attack uh, um, I'm curious to not see if I can kill this guy. I don't remember if I do or not. Maybe his dog kills me before he even gets to hit me. Let's see. Uh, backing up like a coward, running, you know, blocking with my shield, because... Yep. Yeah, that works. And... You know, I knew he was going to grab at me, like, uh, that's why I had the shield up. And coming over here, he takes another big swing at me. Another one, stabbing him back, just praying that I could kill him. Yep, I got him. His dog kind of left him to left him out to dry there. Thankfully for me, I guess you could say. Uh, yeah, do I go and just kill the dog ruthlessly? Yep, I do. I'm a maniac. Poor doggy. Yep. But I think yeah, that's when I come over here and go back to the the grace. I need to look up what is that actually called. Oh, it's another one of those little bugs. I think I don't know, it's not a bug, it's a skull. I smack it and pick it up. See if it's a golden ring, that's what it was. So I come back over here to the uh Grace thing and that's when I see that this lady's here and kinda of what I was trying to hold off on, so I I knew I'd lost all those rings for progress and I wanted to get a little bit more. See if it'd let me level up and I don't I don't think I'm able to level up here. But uh yeah guys, anyways, uh this is uh, episode one of Elden Ring on the YouTube channel, brand new YouTube channel, new YouTuber. It's going to be fun. Hopefully you guys, you know, it's a little bit awkward here, Greetings. recording at first, trying to get used Traveler. to it again, you know, From talking to no phone. one on the I recording, you know, just staring at a screen and talking about the gameplay, but it's something I'll get, I'll get better at. So, uh, yeah, if you guys like, uh, you know, do the YouTube stuff, like the video, uh, subscribe please uh it'd be really nice and uh you know leave me a comment and i'll message you or comment back i offer you an accord have you heard of the finger maidens they serve the two fingers offering guidance and aid to the tarnished but you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of maiden. Turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Settled. Summon me by grace to turn room.